What's going on everybody? We are in Ontario, Canada, in Fort Francis, and we are Rusty Myers Flying Service, and we are just getting ready to unload our gear. Then we gotta weigh it, then we're gonna get on the airplane, fly a couple hundred miles north, do some fishing. Let's do it. Yeah, that one's mine. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> we hit weight. Alright, cool. Brother, you ready? Let's do this. <laughs> All right, everybody. So we have landed and we are settling in here. And uh, we have nine guys in our group. But the problem is that on the first flight, we only had six guys uh, who were able to fly out, fit in the airplane, and the other three were coming in a second plane. But uh, apparently thunderstorms uh, delayed them and they're still not here. So we've been here for a couple hours now and uh, we were waiting for them, but nothing. So um, we're just gonna head out. And we're gonna we're gonna do some fishing and see uh, what we can get. All right. So this is a great example here. When you uh, untie from the dock, you should always make sure your gas tank is connected to your boat. We're gonna go get those guys. All right. So okay, before we go ahead. out, we always do a blessing. So my dad's gonna the guys up there that. gas. And find that fish, a special fish that we called out to go on our boat. Pray for good weather, safety for everyone, full gas, no problem, no difficulties, no smash, prop breaks, anything else. Do the families, wherever they are, and everything they're doing. Bless them as much and more that you'll be blessing us today. We pray, amen and amen. amen. Yes, let's make this happen. All right, let's go. Bill. Oh, the sea was angry that day, my friend. Oh, look at that. <laughs> that was great. I'm a very grateful guy right now. That was, man, that was an awesome fish.
What are you working on, man? Cleaning the little ones first. A bunch of good walleye. Kirk, coming on in. Kirk, okay. come on in. Howdy. We're watching uh, watching Van Wy do some fillet in here. That's the uh, really delicious part of the walleye. Mm, mm, mm. Ready for that gut run? It's just done. Come on. You got the fillets right here. Oh yeah, you come in when you got the little ones on top. It's not a competition, Van Wy. <laughs> well, your, your users or whatever they are, your haters. <laughs> users? Am I a drug dealer? <laughs> no, your, hate, your, your social media haters. Or <laughs> why, are you, why are you cleaning such small fish? Duh. <laughs> you know how those social media people are, the trolls. Yeah, trolls. <laughs> That's fantastic. And uh, Van Wy, where can people find you online? I'm not online. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so Steve and I are going to go do the gut run. Which basically involves heading out into the pitch darkness here, here in the boat and uh, dumping the guts in the middle of the lake so bears can't get to it. We actually had a bear not far from camp, so we got to drive it out a little bit farther tonight. Make sure we don't have any issues. Don't want to leave those things around camp. No point. And I can't see it. I can't, I can't see it. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> you guys are seeing exactly what we see. Right, Grant. These guys are going over. These will be consumed immediately. Uh, and then we wash. You know, it's a good thing I just took a shower. Uh, <laughs> ice cold shower, lake water. Lake water shower. Better. And then immediately go in and dump in fish guts. All right. But now we don't have to worry about a bear. You know, one time, actually, do you remember this, Steve? When uh, we dumped it off the, somebody dumped it off the end of the dock at Allen Water. And uh, it was in like four feet of water. And we're like, oh, well, it's underwater. It's not a big deal. And the next day, seagulls came, and they pulled all the they pulled all the scraps out and brought them onto the dock, and they were shitting everywhere, all over our boats, all over all of our gear, all over the dock. I remember so hearing about that, but I don't oh, remember the shit on yeah. shit on everything part. Like we have these rules, we're like, oh, you got to drive, you know, a lot farther away than you think you need to. Oh, why? You know, oh, well, because your stuff is gonna get crapped on. That's why. Or a bear is going to come and cause problems. So, all right. And problems you don't want to have. Nah, you don't want to have. I'd right. just rather avoid those. I would too. Those are the problems I avoid. So, this is Van Wy's room. And uh, we thought it'd be hilarious. Cyber has a... It's cricket a noise maker. It's a cricket noise maker that makes cricket noise between... What's the uh, like ring? 18 minutes. <laughs> and it goes forever. Like, yeah. It's got like three... Three years worth of value. <laughs> so, uh, we're going to insert it over here, tuck it up in his bed sheet. Oh, that'll be, that'll be a winner right there. Okay, I think we're good. So we'll wait and we'll know, we'll see uh, if he mentions the cricket. No? <laughs> yeah. Okay. What kind of a bread are you making here, Van Wyn? Huh? What kind of a breading are you making here? This is a sea salt and vinegar chip. Ooh, that's some regular good. chips. But salt and vinegar goes really good with this. Oh yeah. Cook stuff because okay. okay, it doesn't take very long. Does not take very long. Hey, Van Wy, 
Yeah. You're grabbing a beer out of your uh, room. You know you got a cricket or something in there, right? Oh, yeah, nonstop. <laughs> yeah, did you hear it? It is a cricket. Jeez. Oh, sorry, brother. Did you hear that? <laughs> no, it was that, not that. <laughs> yeah, here it is a cricket. It, it's like every 30 minutes or whatever it chirps. Mm -hmm. uh, and why? What are you drinking there? People, people are gonna want to know. Water. I know. We can edit that. Canadian claws, man. Yeah, we're actually uh, we're sponsored by Zima, so I'm gonna need you to say Zima. Ready? Huh. What are you drinking, <laughs> man? Why? Do make Zima anymore? <laughs> <laughs> they should. Man, the Zima. Why Take this in. Yeah. Yep. And then I'll Careful. bring it back. Hot yep. Bottom. Really hot. Dave, you gotta be careful. Those are hot. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> gotta do good on the camera. Oh, you're you're fantastic. You're a natural, Dave. <laughs> so is that the walleye with the chips? Oh yeah. This right here, my man. I really want to try this salt and vinegar chips business. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, mama. Oh. Dave, you trying it? Okay. Yeah, Dave goes first. Give it to us, Dave. Mm -hmm. That good, huh? Delicioso. Oh, think you're licking good. Oh, no, that's chicken. How is it, Stefan? Oh, man. You can't get better than fresh walleye. Pretty good? That's too good. Yeah, I gotta try it. That's just clean. Brother, you wanna give it a go? Oh, yeah. And then we'll pan over and show everybody the mac and cheese you've been making. <laughs> <laughs> It's just clean. That's so good. It's pretty good. All right. That's perfect. You can't beat fresh walleye. All right, come on. I, we, we, Unless you're in let's the show. water. Talk about what you did here. Oh, well, <laughs> this is straight out of Walmart of Canada. Uh, look at that. I mean, you just look at the breading on that. Wow. <laughs> the glaze. <laughs> Yeah. And then this is some leftover beans <laughs> from yesterday that we're firing up. <laughs> All right, quick tour. Heading up the dock here. We got Cyber. We got Steve. Morning, Steve. Morning. Okay, we got my dad. Got my brother in law, CJ. Gentlemen, coming through. Ooh. All right. So, this bad boy here, this is the boathouse. So he's got life jackets, he's got a bunch of stuff in here. We've got the fish cleaning station. We keep it locked up because there are bears. If you take a left at the Y, we got outpost cabin number one. Okay, walking down the boardwalk. That's my brother right there, bro. This cabin, it's actually called the snores cabin. Um, that's <laughs> like on the diagram, that's what it's called. We got outpost cabin number two. We got Cyber and Steve staying in here. This, this is the fanciest thing right here. You've got this great cooking area. Super nice, super nice. We walk this way, obviously you see sort of a nice view of the lake. You got a good bonfire area. You got this massive deck up here and we call this the lodge. And I'll take you on inside. So pretty straightforward. It's what you kind of expect up here. Uh, usually you don't have a separate cabin for this. This place is meant to have a lot of people uh, they have these kind of amenities, which is pretty cool. And yeah, we hang out here. Each morning we go over our maps here, talk about where we're gonna go on the lake. Show you the last cabin. It's kind of hidden between the lodge and this one right here, and this is the kitchen cabin. Do a lot of hanging out in here too. This is the lodge. A lot of sitting around here drinking coffee. All the cabins have wood burning stoves in them. Where do you guys do your crapping? Let me show you. Who does number two work? <laughs> yeah. Do you have guys bugs or something in here? Dave and whatever. I hear like some kind of like they it's were a chirp. I don't know if it's a. I don't know if it's a cricket or if it's that. Was jigging it. That uh, smoke it's detector or something. Or something. I don't know what, what are you saying about the the well, what? A chirp in there is either a bug or a smoke detector or something. All right, we're in boarding mode. Getting everything set. Loading up the boats. Moving things the way we need them. Dry bags ready, poles ready. Now I know that I'm here to 
fish, but you know, I'm out here and I see just, man, this place is awesome. I see like this big cliff here and I can't help but wonder what the view is from the top of that thing. So I think we should climb it. Let's do it. You seen the movie The Edge? No. Okay. Say, I'm gonna kill the bear. Say it! I'm gonna kill the bear. Say it again! I'm gonna kill the bear! Have it again! I'm gonna kill the bear. Say it! I'm gonna kill that bear! You damn right. Because today. Right. Do I have to say it like Anthony Hopkins? Yeah. I don't know the line. I'm gonna kill the mother. See everything fine? Yeah, okay. Phil, can you pull around to the side over here? Or one of the sides? Uh, yeah! Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Richard, this is for you. Dude, that is for you. All right, Phil, you call it. I'm right on it. Phil's calling it. I'm right on it. That's an absolutely, absolutely an inch. It's absolutely for you. Yeah, you got it. I got it. Didn't have it. There it goes. Nice, huh? Cyber, congratulations. That's pretty awesome. Congrats, man. Great fish, buddy. Good that? Hey, I can. I had one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, Eli, Josh was telling me I made the, uh, the, the lodge at Rusty. These so pictures up? They got, they got my pipe photo in there framed with a couple other people. Congrats, man. <laughs> yeah. man. man. Oh, no way. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you, you were loving All that. Right, Dave. Yep, it's the Talk Dave Avery us. Show. So, uh, <laughs> if you're interested in real estate... <laughs> hey, he's getting my SOI. Yeah. Oh, we're <laughs> I'm sorry. A, we're going to put the, the number right right, yeah, right here yeah. on the shirt. It's 515-28. Dave Avery, Remax Revolution. Man, Find dude. your forever home. Yes. Your dream home. <laughs> Build it. Hey, they will come. Really know all right, everybody. Cyber has officially patched in. Cyber? Look at that thing. Boom. How's it feel, buddy? It's amazing. Steve? Last year, right? Bro. Oh, yeah. I patched There's, in? There is no better feeling than, than getting in the 40 plus club. That's right, buddy. All right, now all three of us, there's some other guys who yep. they got to do some work to get in, but congrats, man. Thank you. It's raining, if you can't tell, by the way. We were just reeling this fish a second ago. And after I got the fish in the boat, and I'm looking around, I've, I have two poles in here, but I only have one pole. I'm supposed to have two. And I can't find the pole that I just caught some fish on. And I'm looking, and I just see 
I see like a foot of my pole sticking out of the water, just barely up on the gunnel here. And I see my x wrap dragging across the floor of the boat as my, as my rod is just sinking away. <laughs> I saw it, grabbed it, pulled it back in the boat. I have no idea how, I have no idea how my rod reel <laughs> got off the boat, but thank heaven. Thank God. Grab that thing right before it went. Oh, too funny. All right, we got Dave and Kirk coming back way late <laughs> with this storm. The rest of us saw it coming and we got the heck out of there, but uh, these guys are coming in. Hopefully they'll uh, be safe here for this last stretch. Scrambled eggs. Oh, fantastic. You flip back underneath of them. Well, I cut this. Ooh, what you got going here, Dad? Eggs. And in the eggs, I put a little uh, mayonnaise. Eggs with mayonnaise in them raise up higher than a normal egg. But I didn't have any mayonnaise, so guess what we used? Tartar sauce. Yeah. I'm allergic to tartar sauce. Well, in that case, I wouldn't eat too <laughs> I'm many. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Look at how those eggs just. Look at that. I'm looking. Ooh! Have you ever been to a uh, fishing outpost that had a black stone? No, this is the first one. <laughs> We're spoiled. Okay, heading on into the snorer's cabin here. Right, yeah. Did you hear that? Man, why well, you got bugs or something in here chirping? Yeah, I know it's a uh, uh, cricket. I think it chirps every now and again. It chirps and then shuts up. All right, so I think today we go right on through all this junk and we go check out Brent Falls. What say you, Cyber? Should we yeah. be bold? Let's do it.
what you that is do. also the big pike, the bigger pike in all of those four photos. Yeah. <laughs> Just so everybody knows. You're famous, buddy. Same smile. Nicely done, done buddy. Way. Yeah, I've been hearing it. Oh, I don't know what it is. You shake your uh, stuff out? You probably had it, yeah, like a cricket in your pocket or something. Now, if you guys want to plan an epic Canadian fishing adventure of your own, but you don't even know where to start, well, I got just the book for you. It's called The Ultimate Guide to Planning a Canadian Northwoods Fishing Adventure. And it'll walk you through everything you need to know to make a trip like the one you just watched a reality. It's also a pretty dang entertaining read, as it's filled with funny tales from my decades of Canadian fishing adventures in the wild Northwoods. So grab yourself a copy, support the channel, and start planning an adventure of your own. Thanks, folks. If you guys enjoyed the video, please make sure that you like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. You guys can also follow me on Instagram, Manverse History. Thanks for watching, everyone.